I'm James O'Brien, and this is the back to the wall exercise. This is a great exercise for pain relief if you have some low back pain. It also works really well at establishing some kinesthetic awareness or body awareness to know how to change the position of your pelvis to put your back into its correct alignment. So let's begin. To start, what you'll do is you'll lean back into the wall with your feet about a foot and a half away. This exercise works best with your shoes on so that your feet don't slip. Then what you'll do is you place your hands on your pelvic bones here and you'll tip the pelvis up towards you by engaging the abdominals. I'm drawing my pubic bone up and in towards my belly button. I feel my abdominals tighten. And as a result, you see how my pant lines rolled up and now my low back is flat to the wall. I can't get my hand behind my low back because my back is flush to the wall. For a lot of us, as we do this, because of the forward bend in the upper back, there'll be a tendency to come forward. That's okay to start, but ideally, once you get your low back flat to the wall, keeping it flat, then you'll want to take your shoulders and your head and neck back to the wall, keeping the chin tucked, keeping that nice long spine. And this takes a little bit of effort. As we age and we have that forward bend in our upper back from years of bad posture, it may be physically impossible for you to get your head back to the wall with your chin tucked, keeping the low back flat. If that's the case, that's okay. The most important thing is that your low back wins and that you flatten it to the wall. Once that's in place, then again, try and take the shoulders back and get the head back. Once you're in this position, work on your diaphragma diaphragmatic breathing. While the core is engaged, breathe in the nose, out the mouth. Don't hyperventilate, but work on that deep breathing. Try and stay there for one to two minutes. This can be great at uh, reducing pain in the low back and just um, getting the whole spine in good alignment. You can practice going in and out of a posterior tilt and an anterior tilt, and this will help with that body awareness. Too much anterior tilt is bad, flattening it out to this flat position is good. In time, this will help with the awareness of changing the position of your pelvis and standing like I'm doing right now. If you wanna take this exercise even a little bit further, once your low back is flat to the wall, you can work on just lifting the arms up in the air. That challenges the core more and works on some shoulder flexibility and upper back strength and mobility. That is the relax the back to the wall exercise or the back to the wall exercise. Good luck.